As the first of its kind in the area, the Sniffer Dogs program started in Brazzaville in 2014 as part of the Law Enforcement Project PALF. It is now run by a British institution called the Aspinall Foundation. The extensive forests of the Congo Basin are home to many animal species. However, more and more of them are being hunted, both legally and illegally, for their meat, known as bush meat, as well as for other products such as ivory or scales. Although certain species of animals are protected by Congolese law, enforcing it in practice is as utopian as demanding a stable internet connection, electricity, or running water. Selective logging not only destroys the animal's natural habitat, but the unguarded roads built for trucks make the forest easily accessible to poachers. Our project, comprising four dogs at this time, is one of the few projects actively participating in wildlife conservation. We've had hundreds of successful detections, followed by almost 40 arrests. As part of our job, we make sure the culprits are fully penalized. Our Malinois shepherds from Israel, Sean and Rick, and later also Kama from the Czech Republic, were trained using positive reinforcement. Their job is a game to them, and they have no problem searching through any territory. Their toy is the best reward for a good performance. All three dogs can detect ivory, pangolin scales, leopard skins, living animals, bushmeat, and ammunition. The law classifies the animals we find, both dead and alive, as completely protected, partially protected, or unprotected, depending on the level of endangeredness of the species. Hunting the unprotected species is a traditional source of livelihood, especially for people living in the villages close to the forests. On the other hand, large-scale hunting for trade represents a serious problem. Hunters and poachers sell the bushmeat to people living in Africa, but also to European cities, where people have the option to choose different sources of protein. Due to consumer demand, animals that used to be commonly seen in the forests are becoming endangered. Hannah Bume trained and donated her best dog, Kama, who excelled in the fight against poachers and smugglers. Unfortunately, her fight ended prematurely. Kama lost her life in a tragic accident which affected our team last June. Prior to the accident, Kama gave birth to seven puppies in Brazzaville. After their talents became evident, four pups left for Uganda to undergo training, a fifth is guarding chimpanzees at a rehabilitation center, and two stayed in Brazzaville, where our Congolese dog handlers, supervised by Hannah Bume, are training them to detect endangered animal species in the field. Work that is just a game to the dogs saves the lives of other animals. Our dogs and their Congolese handlers practice every day and are getting ready for new missions. But every day, Rick, Shaw, and Titan and Dolly need to eat and drink, and they need regular veterinary checkups, as well as antiparasitic treatments. We also need to buy equipment for training and missions, and gas to be able to go on those missions. Here is the chance for you, who are watching our campaign right now, to help our canine superheroes in their fight for endangered species. Thanks to you, our dogs will have adequate support to maintain their high quality performance and to enjoy their work because even superheroes sometimes need help.